Hey everybody, it's Billy from Spicy Ginger Soap and I am back. I want to make, basically I want to make a um, finishing powder, uh, like a mineral veil. And I'm making this because I want to start out with something really simple before I start making foundations and other things. Eyeshadow would be really simple. I did make one and I didn't film it only because it was on Christmas Eve very, very late at night. I think it was about 3 o'clock in the morning and I was trying to get it done for my daughter because I had gotten her some micas to make a white um, shimmer eyeshadow and um, it turned out really pretty. Um, and I, I just, it was so late at night that I didn't film it. And I, it was very, very basic um, ingredients. I just used some of the, um, like, the um, Cerasite mica and then um, the colored micas that I wanted to use. So anyways, what I'm going to do is I am following the guidelines of TKB, so they say, and I'm going to write down everything I put in here. So, um, a finishing powder you would start with one tablespoon cornstarch. I'm using tapioca. I don't typically use cornstarch. I, I always um, sub tapioca. And then one quarter teaspoon of kale and clay. And that's your um, base. And then what TKB suggests, which I'm not doing, but only because um, I want to do a, I'm trying to match something that I used to use that I had a long time ago. But what they say to do is, once you get your base color for your foundation, you use a scoop of that in your, mineral, your um, finishing powder. And then, so basically it's lightly tinted with whatever um, your base foundation color is. So then obviously that um, it would match your skin tone. But I'm gonna do one with some of these colors here and I'm not sure yet. I got out a bunch of these um, micas that I got in not only my nude lippy um, pack but also my mineral makeup pack. And then um, these are some additional ones that I got. The Hillite, Highlight, I'm sorry, Highlight Copper and Highlight Violet. And then the Satin White. They're basically just shimmery white um, micas. All right, and so I'm going to do my one tablespoon. And I'm using my... Um, coffee grinder here. This is actually one that I used to use for co coffee. I, um, I cleaned it up really good. I used this to, um, and I, by the way, I sanitized all of this stuff with either bleach water or 91% um, alcohol. So everything is sanitized. And then one quarter teaspoon of the kaolin clay. And then it only says one, oops, it says one scoop of the color, but it doesn't specify which scoop. So, I don't know, but basically what I'm going to do is, I'm going to start out with this little teeny tiny one. Maybe I should do the second smallest one. I don't know, well, I'll use one of these and I'm going to put a couple different colors in. I want to do, I think I'm going to do the, I'm not sure if I want to do the violet or the copper highlight. I'm going to go ahead and do the copper because these have um, pink tones to them. And for this one, I'm going to go ahead and do, you know what, I'm just going to use the small scoop for everything because I can always add more. All right, so we'll add one scoop 
of that one. And then I want, I definitely want a little of this foliage. Um, Cause this is gonna be like, kinda like a, not a bronzer or a blush, but kind of a, a brightening powder. That's what I'll call it, a brightening powder. All right, and then I'm gonna put a little of this pink coral. And then I wanna definitely do some of the apricot. This color is so pretty. In fact, I'm going to do two of that one. And I'm tempted to see just what that looks like. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and see what that looks like, just that. Kind of gets stuck up in the top of it. Woo, well that did it. Just tap it down with something metal. And don't breathe that in. That's one thing I should, I need to put my mask on. Um, I'm gonna, it may um, muffle my, my speech a little, but I'm gonna put my mask on because I definitely don't want to be breathing that in. Okay, so look at what that looks like. It's real, real it's got a nice just basically you can't even really see it. It's just a shimmer. So that's pretty much what I want, but I think I want a little bit more color to it. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to add a teeny bit of this, um, the oriental beige, which will be one of my um, components of my foundation. This is kind of a, um, you know, like a nude base tone for foundations. I'm going to put a little bit of the gold. This is just like a basic gold fine um, mica. And then I'm also going to add tempted to add some of this bronze or bron the bronzed gold or bronze mica. But I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to do is I think I'll add um, you know what? I'm, I am. I'm going to add one, one of the bronze gold. Okay, so i got to write this down. One drop pink coral, one drop each, pink coral, gold fine, foliage, bronzed gold, oriental beige, Highlight copper. And apricot. Okay, and I did, I think I did two of the um, copper. I'll look back at the video. Gold fine, oriental beige. Okay, I got them all. So, 
go ahead and see what that looks like. I was like thinking about trying to like basically um, get away with not um, mixing this in here, but I don't think there's a good way around it. So I think it's probably important to um, mix it in here. This is the only way you're really going to get a real good mix. So I really think I like the way this looks. Now obviously it's not, it doesn't look like much, but this is going to give like just that super kind of dewy, just bright look over your foundation, not to mention it kind of sets everything trying to think I, I really I really am tempted oh my gosh look at that it's not all mixed up oh boy yeah I can still see kale and clay and tapioca powder in there well I need to mix it more and I'm definitely going to need to add some color crazy it was all white in the bottom this seems like a lot of product to me but maybe not I feel like I need more color in it yeah I'm gonna put more so I'm gonna add one of this colorona mic a Colorona Russet Mica. It's kind of a dark color, but basically I feel like I need some, I need to jazz this up. I do want like a little bit of color in there. I'm gonna put another one of Oriental Beige. I'm gonna do another apricot because this is like one of the ones that I really want. I, I just really like this color basically. So that'll be three of the apricot, I believe. Two foliage, because I'm gonna put another foliage. So when it says one scoop, I'm thinking it's gotta be like one of the bigger scoops, because otherwise you're not gonna have any color to this. All right, so times three, times two. There we go. Sorry about the bang, guys. Oh, wow. I can see it got, like, in one of the other areas. Dang it. That's starting to look a little bit better. It's more like what I was kind of wanting. You know, it's got a little bit of color to it. 
you know, and I am very, very fair skin. So obviously, if you have a darker skin, you're going to need significantly more um, color so that it doesn't, you know, wash you out and look really white. But that basically, you probably can't even see it on camera, but to me, that looks like really what I kind of want. Just a really, really sheer looking um, color for over my foundation. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to add one of the little bit bigger scoops of this Echo. It's like got a really iridescent look to it. I'm going to add the bigger scoop, which is probably equal to two scoops, but I'm just going to put a smidgen of Echo, which kind of looks like, it's funny, it kind of looks like the whole, um, the color of my, my mixture that I've already got going on. stuff is just so airborne so be careful nobody wants to get that in their lungs that is about perfect I wanted to have a little bit of that peachy gold tone so that looks perfect to me. I like it. I like it a lot. Make sure everything's, yeah, everything's nice and mixed together. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, I'm going to put my lid on and then I'm going to turn it over because this is like, you know, a cup. Oops. Don't turn it on though when you do that. And then I'm just going to it did get a little bit all over. Oh, well, um, outside of where I wanted it to basically. All right. I'm going to try to get that in there. Okay. So I'm going to show you guys up close what the finished product looks like. A little bit on my hand there. It's, you know what, this is a messy project. It, I don't even know how it got all over the place, but there's my, my end product. You can see it on my glove here. And it's just a really, really nice beigey peach, which I think is gonna look so pretty on top of my face makeup and then just going to go ahead and scoop it into here. This is um, this is a 20 gram container and this actually is probably a little, this could probably almost fill a, almost a 30 gram I guess. which, I mean, I don't know how quickly I'm going to be, this won't, you know, this, this lasts quite a while. Mineral makeup for me does. Um, so yeah, that, oops, that basically fills up that 20 gram jar beautiful and unfortunately I did kind of make a mess but you know I, I will say 
relatively inexpensive. Let me just tell you, I've bought the finishing powder. I believe it's $18. I believe it might be a 25 gram or 30 gram jar. So maybe it's a tad bigger than this. But um, definitely a lot cheaper. One little scoop of kaolin clay, one little scoop of tapioca starch, and then several tiny scoops, which maybe come out to a teaspoon, maybe, of mica, I would say, in, in all. This may be too much for this. Holy moly. Let's see if I can press. Oh, yeah, it's too bit too much a bit too much holy moly okay so I guess what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to change my plan and put this in a 30 grammer luckily I have them but I need to spray this one with some alcohol real quick to make sure everything's nice and clean all right yeah I'm gonna put it in here Oh no. Nothing ever happens super easy, right? Okay. This powder is so just like soft and light. It's really nice. I'm just going to dump the rest in there. All right, there we have it. Perfect. And then you've got your little sifter. You can open it up. You go ahead and tap it into your um, <laughs> lid. Sorry, I blanked for a minute. Tap it into your lid and then you just use your brush and all over the face. And that literally is it. So that's a mineral veil what would be considered like a finishing powder. Like I said, that filled up a 30 gram container with a little to spare, as you see all over. And um, $18 value if you buy that in the store. Definitely, definitely this would probably be considered like a dollar maybe worth of product. Um, I don't really even think it's that much. I think less than a dollar. So your container, I can't remember how much exactly these come out to like a piece. But so literally this that I just made is probably worth like $2 of money spent. So that's pretty cool. Um, and it's easy to do, super easy. Now, that being said, this is like the easiest project that I'm going to do, I'm sure. This is basically a very, very simple, it's very sheer, it doesn't have much um, opaque color to it. So this is gonna be the easiest thing I do. Um, once we get into the foundations, I'm sure it'll be a little bit more difficult and finding a perfect match, um, you know, a little bit more trial and error, maybe, maybe a little bit of wasted product. But in my opinion, it's absolutely worth it um, in the end and um, it'll still be fairly inexpensive. So thank you for watching. I appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed. I hope it kind of maybe gives you uh, maybe some ideas for something you might want to make for yourself and I'll bring you back for the next video. Have a good night.